Legends of dragon-like creatures exist in the histories of nearly every culture in the world. While scientists sometimes attribute these legends to early findings of dinosaur remains, there have been sightings of real-life cryptids that defy presumed reality and may be evidence of more mysterious, real creatures. Brosno Dragon In the Tver region of Russia, there exists a bizarre 141-foot, 43-meter deep body of freshwater known as Lake Brosno that's inhabited by saltwater fish and also believed to be home to a large bioluminescent creature, the Brosno Dragon, or Brosnia. Reports of the dragon date back to a 13th century attack on a Tartar Mongol army camped on the lake's shores. The legend goes that Batu Khan stopped by the lake to rest, letting his troops take the horses to drink from the lake. Minutes into their stop, a huge serpent-like monster emerged to swallow horses and men alike. Batu Khan and his troops were then so scared that they turned around. A more recent alleged encounter report claims that the monster swallowed an entire German plane by the lake during World War II. Soon after, lobster carcasses emerged from the lake, supposedly the remains of the creature's meals. Saltwater fish have surprisingly shown up in the lake, such as herring, which has been explained by fishermen claiming that the lake has multiple structural levels in its depths, which also serve as hiding spots for the cryptid. If not hiding an unknown species, some believe the lake may be over an undiscovered volcano that caused the deaths there through rare ejections. The theory of multiple internal structures in the lake bed would explain why the volcano has not been found if it's really there. One considered hypothesis to explain the legend of the dragon claims that hydrogen sulfide within the lake makes the water boil, giving passersby the impression of seeing a creature. This theory has mostly been discredited, as the amount of hydrogen sulfide needed to produce that effect would be substantial. Another theory holds that large smelt shoal fish refract light on the water's surface, making the fish seem enormous and fooling locals by means of a mirage. Many witnesses have claimed to have seen the creature in the summer, which would coincide with that theory. Yet none of these theories have been confirmed, and many villagers fully believe that the dragon-like monster resides in the depths of Lake Brosno. Pungamato. A. Blenny Percival described reports of a mysterious creature in his Game Warden on Safari Notes, saying, quote, The Kitui Wakamba tell of a huge flying beast which comes down from Mount Kenya by night. They only see it against the sky, but they've seen its tracks. In 1923, after 11 years of research in northern Rhodesia, Frank Melland published the first astonishing account of the Kongamato in his book In Witchbound Africa, where he wrote, quote, the evidence for the pterodactyl is that the natives can describe it so accurately, unprompted, and that they all agree about it. There's negative support also in the fact that they said they could not identify any other of the prehistoric monsters which I showed them. The natives do not consider it to be an unnatural thing like a mulombe, only a very awful thing, like a man-eating lion or a rogue elephant, but infinitely worse. I've mentioned the Giundu Swamp as one of the reputed haunts of the Kongamato, and I must say that the place itself is the very kind of place in which such a reptile might exist, if it is possible anywhere. Described as a dangerous red or black creature with a seven-foot, two-meter wingspan, it allegedly attacked the local Kaonde tribe along certain rivers. Tribe members identified the creature as a pterosaur when shown illustrations from Mellon's book collection and claimed they would carry, quote, Muchi Wa Kongamato, a type of charm meant to protect them from the monster when crossing rivers, where they reportedly were most vulnerable and subject to attacks. In 1957, engineer J.P.F. Brown reported spotting two specimens of the creature to the Rhodesia Herald one year before, claiming they seemed prehistoric, estimating their wingspan to a shorter three or four feet than previously reported, and stating that they had pointed teeth. Furthermore, 1957 hospital records from nearby Fort Rosebury describe a man with a severe chest wound who drew a similar creature. There are also possible links to the Namibian flying snake described by author-reporter Lawrence Green in 1959. In his book, These Wonders to Behold, he described a much larger dragon that devoured sheep and left the scent of fire. Groot Slang According to popular reports, Peter Grayson, a British explorer, went missing in 1917 searching for the Wonder Hole, a deep cave in the Richtersfeld region of South Africa that was supposedly filled with diamonds and connected to the sea. Local tribes feared the cave as the gems were said to be guarded by the Groot Slang, a 50-foot or 15-meter long snake-like creature, sometimes described as having a head similar to that of the elephant, which was also its primary prey. According to legend, 
The creature visits warm lakes or rivers every once in a while and can be fended off if a victim distracts it by offering it precious gems. During their final expedition, several of Grayson's team were reportedly picked off by lions before he allegedly disappeared at the hands of the monster. Cryptozoologists believe that if the creature does exist, it may be related to the famed African cryptid Mokelembembe, the brontosaurus-like water creature supposedly half-elephant and half-dragon, recorded in the mythology of several tribes along the Congo River Basin. Faya Naga Along the Mekong River in Laos and Thailand, the Naga fireballs are a mysterious phenomenon. Bright reddish balls of light rise from the water and shoot up to 500 feet, 150 meters, into the sky. Locals attribute the spectacle to the Faya Naga, or Mekong Dragon, a large serpent that's alleged to lurk in the river. The creature has been linked to Thai folklore, which describes the Faya Naga as a supernatural creature of divine origins connected to the netherworld. In the mythology of the Shan people, it's believed to have created the Mekong River and to actually reside in Erhai Lake. Sightings have been linked to a mysterious unidentified ore fish, an elongated fish with a red crest, yet all known species live in deep water marine environments. Another possible explanation has attributed the fireballs to phosphine gas generated in the marshes, but it's impossible for it to spontaneously ignite and travel skywards with no external push. Plasma orbs and gas bubbles have been suggested as sources of the fireballs, but such a phenomenon has only ever been produced under controlled conditions. The phenomenon has attracted tourists, and some skeptics believe that the fireballs are actually caused by flares shot from across the river, and that the crowd's cheers drown out the sound of the shot. However, this is unlikely, as reports of the fireballs predate the invention of flares. Still, the true cause of the fireballs remains unknown. Hatzelwurm Referred to as the Alps Dragon, the Totzelwurm is often described as being a six-foot, two-meter-long, snake-like creature with sharp front claws, a feline-like head, knife-like teeth, and a dark, scaly body that emits poisonous fumes. Also going by the names Springwurm, Pretzelwurm, Arasas, and Bergstutz, reported sightings placed it in the Alps near Switzerland, Italy, Austria, and German Bavaria. Legend of the creature's existence can be dated back to around 1680. Following the first reported sighting in 1779, farmers in remote villages complained of a monster attacking livestock. A farmer reported finding the corpse of one of these creatures in 1828, which he transported home, although by then crows had eaten over half the cryptid. The alleged remains have been lost, but managed to serve as confirmation for locals throughout the century. Illustrations of the Tatzelwurm subsequently appeared in an 1836 Bavarian hunting guide and an 1841 Swiss almanac. In the 1900s, a photograph of the skeleton of an alleged Totzelwurm was donated anonymously to the Geneva Institute of Science. The image revealed a snake-like animal with two limbs and a large skull. In time, the image came to be considered a hoax by researchers. In the winter of 1954, yet another claim of evidence came from a photographer who published an alleged photo of the creature in the Berliner Illustrierte, which sparked interest to the point that a search expedition was assembled to inspect the area where it was supposedly taken. Nothing was found and the photograph has since been discredited by most investigators. Some theorize the creature may actually be an unidentified relative of the poisonous Gila monster with the giant salamander. However, it's been claimed that if the Totzelwurm were real, its elusiveness could be attributed to extinction. Dark Five is bringing a new channel to light, Dark Photos. Click the new logo on screen or the link in the description below to subscribe now. Join us as we explore the unbelievable true stories behind photos that expose hidden places, strange secrets, dark histories, and incredible events caught on camera.